Hi, John Clements here, and I am at the African Bank part of our garden, which is adjacent to the lawn in the gazebo area. It is one of my favorite places. Do I say that about all the places? They're all my favorites. I mean, do you have a favorite child? Well, this area is undergoing some renovation. It's receiving a lot of very neat new plants. And one of the things that are just going off at the garden right now are aloes and also proteaceae. And I have about 10 minutes worth of collecting in my arms here. I just kind of went through the garden and picked a few, and some of them are absolutely stunning. This is a Banksia media coastal form. Looks a bit like an oak tree, except it gets these big, beautiful honeycomb type flowers. This one is, gosh, again, one of my favorites. This is a firewheel tree. It's a proteaceae. It's from Australia, but look at those flowers. They kind of look like they're UFOs, but orange and with all of these antennae, they're, they're absolutely cool. This is Grevillea thelaminiana. And all of these are great candidates for a vase, by the way. If you put them in an arrangement, they'll last two or three weeks easily. And February is the month of love, so there's no better way to show your love than to go out and pick a bouquet of flowers for your loved one, for a friend, or maybe even for yourself. These are gonna be for me, I'm gonna enjoy them. And there's so much variety and there's so much beauty. And the nice thing about Proteaceae, they're constantly changing. They're named after the Greek god Proteus, who was always shape-shifting and changing his form. And that's a very apt description of Protea because they change foliage shapes, they get cones, they change colors. They never are the same. And so they're a great plant for our garden, but also for your garden. So come on down. They're going to be in full glorious bloom until probably May or so. So you'll have a great opportunity to enjoy our little collection of Protea here at the San Diego Botanic Garden.